Hey guitarists, we're back again with another lesson of rocking the guitar with Carl. This time I'm going to talk about the A major and A minor open chord. So let's get started. We'll start with A major. And um, the good thing about A major is all the notes, um, all your fingers go on the same fret, which is good in a way, but it's kind of tough because you have to cram them all in there. There's a couple different ways you can play this chord though, and we'll get into both of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to play the A string open, the fifth string. Take your first finger, place it on the second fret of the D string for an E. Second finger, second fret of the G string for an A. Third finger, second fret of the B string for a C sharp. And then the high E is played open. So the notes of the A major scale are A, C sharp, and E. And as you can see on all, um, all chords of the guitar, uh, there's a lot of doubles in there. There's a couple of A's in this one. There's two E's. That's just the way the guitar um, gives it that full sound that you can get with the guitar. So you have this. Now, as you can see, I have my fingers all sort of placed um, up against each other here. There's another way you can do the formation of this chord. You can place your second finger on the E, second fret of the D string. Okay. Then your first finger on the second fret of the G string for an A, and your third finger on the second fret of the B string for a C sharp. And you get the same exact thing. Which is a matter of much more comfortable for you. Here's A major, so let's go to A minor now. Now the only thing different between A major and A minor is the third, um, as we've studied before. So, so, so if A major has A, C sharp, and E, A minor is going to be A, C, and E. So the only thing different that you're going to do is just basically flat the note of the second fret of the B string to the first fret of the B string for a C. So basically you'd have A, the second finger has to fret, the second fret of the D string this time for an E. There's, there's no other uh, there's no alternative fingering for this chord. Third finger has to fret. Second fret of the G string for an A. First finger will be on first fret of the B string for a C. And then the high E is open again. As you can see, I'm not playing the low E string of this chord. Because even though E is in A major, when you're dealing with open chords, you want to stay, um, stay in root position and make sure that the root of the chord is, uh, is the bottom note. But if you hit it accidentally, it's not a big deal because it is actually in the chord, but try not to. It's A major and A minor. See you next time. We're going to do F chord. Take care.